Good Saturday morning to ya. Couldn't sleep. I try to sleep in on uh, Saturday. Normally I'm up at 4.15 today. I finally gave up at 5.15. Screw it. Got a long day ahead of me. My, uh, my truck broke down. Not bad. The, uh, there's brake fluid spraying out around the uh, rear wheel. Haven't gotten underneath it to look to see what's up. I, uh, it was awesome timing. That's why I was home early. Because driving down the freeway and all of a sudden you don't have brakes. It's, uh, it's time to go home. <laughs> it's time to go home. Anyway, it's a, it's a super old truck, so I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to spend the money to fix it, at least not yet. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it. I might sell it. It's a, it's an old truck. It's 71, pre-smog. I, uh, always been gonna fix it up. Never been got to it. I like the truck. I, one could say I love the truck, but with, uh, with what I'm doing with being an attorney, I do a lot of driving, surprisingly enough, you know, going to courts and, I mean, you know, San Mateo from Sacramento is a, a long drive. And that old truck, it's, when it's tuned up right, it gets about 12 to 14 miles to the gallon if you really keep your foot out of it. And, you know, it's old. So today, I'm gonna go buy a car. And I think I've got the car picked out. It's going to be about ten grand because you know I'm a high rolling attorney. I can uh, I can throw that I can throw that kind of money out for a for a car about ten grand. <laughs> uh, people just don't know what to do with me. They're like, he's he's a brand new attorney. I'm like, yeah, I'm a brand new attorney. And they're like, damn it, he he he's been damn it. It took him 17 years to, to pass the bar. Well, it took me 17 years to take the bar, but, you know, eh. Oh, people don't know what to do with me. Speaking of people who don't know what to do, uh, Mr. Grisham is, God, that guy is just, he's funny as shit. Uh, he, all right, so if you look at his channel, he doesn't, he seems to be having issues getting views. And with 11,000 subs, that's, that is not a good thing. That means he's not producing content that's interesting, that's informative. When you're when you are a one-trick pony, it's hard to be interesting and informative. Uh, he believes in more freedom of gun ownership, and that's great. That's laudable, you know. I support him on that, but that's all he's got. He has no other real knowledge, interest, or anything of value to offer. I mean, I guess he could teach people to do to speak Spanish, but, you know, I don't know if there's a huge demand for that. But, he, like, he, just to show you how silly he is, instead of, instead of building up, like, he wants, he wants a debate with me. He wants to garner interest in the debate with me. Instead of calling me a um, brand new attorney and who doesn't know his asshole from his elbow or whatever he said... He should have built me up. He should have built me into a monster. Uh, this gun-hating, freedom-hating, communist propagandist who was hired by the Clintons to take down America. And, and uh, you know, I mean, he should have built it up. That's just a tactical error on his part. One of many. The other tactical error is lying to me. And my bullshit detector is pretty good. I, uh, I used to be a skeptic, trademark. Now I'm just skeptical. Speaking of skeptical, um, so people are thinking that the monkey video where he is recording the him finding the SD card in the street or his driveway or wherever, they think that's uh, evidence of something. It is not evidence of anything. It's evidence that at some point in time, there was an SD card in his driveway. That's it. 
We don't know if it was, we don't know if he gave the officer an SD card. I mean, he could say he did, but then we're not relying on the video for that. Uh, we don't know if that was the SD card he gave to the officer. Again, he could say he did, but we are relying on, would be relying on his testimony, not the video for that. But you can, like, I'm hoping that I'm kind of getting you guys figuring out that these videos, everybody says videos can't lie, and they absolutely can. I'm not saying that Monkey is lying. I'm just saying that it's not the evidence that you think it is. Hashtag not all. I mean, it could be the evidence you think it is, but we have nothing to really substantiate that besides Monkey's word. But then again, you're relying on Monkey's word, not on the video. So the video is really not useful. This guy's kind of hazy today. Huh. I don't smell smoke in the air for once, but maybe that's just because I'm used to the smell of smoke. Let's see, what else we got going on? Um, yeah, that was right. Um, I want to say his name is Diego. Diego something or the other. I get a lot of people who vacillate hot and cold on me. I'm used to it. You know, people who are uh, riding my jock in my comments, and then you go into somebody else's comments, and they're just all, Merb's a dork. I don't like Merb. <laughs> and it's fine. I support your freedom of expression to s express two conflicting views at the same time. I'm fine with that. Uh, but people are often confused. Uh -oh, did we find a stick? Did we find a stick, buddy? Oh, no, you lost your stick. Uh, people are often confused that, uh, you know, what's your, what's your real goal? I don't know why. I don't know why. People can't understand me. Was I, for the years when I was acquiring my OG troll status, when I was just slinging mud in comment sections, was I getting paid then? What was my, what was my... Goal when I was in the comment section slinging mud. Has my goal changed? Why do I express support for auditors so frequently and yet criticize auditors who do things like trespass or spout sovereign citizen nonsense or spread inconsistent or wrong views of what the law is. Is it because I hate auditors? Is it because I dislike auditors? Is it because I want to discredit the movement? It's amazing to me the way that people in this community are so willing to take little things entirely out of context and use them to try to paint bigger pictures and ignore evidence that is contradictory to their desired worldview. I, I mean, it, it would be great if you picked a narrative like, okay, am I a brand new attorney or am I a government plant? Am I making a measly $40 an hour or am I getting funded by Soros? Pick one, pick one and then consider well, does all the other evidence match it? I'm almost to a thousand viewers. Do you think a Soros funded campaign would be almost at a thousand viewers? Do you think a Soros funded campaign would use my non-existent editing techniques? Or do you think a Soros funded campaign would use slick editing Now, I don't even know what a Soros-funded campaign looks like. I, I think the... Do the Young Turks take Soros money? I know they take Qatar money. I'm not entirely sure. But the evidence is that I am a schlub lawyer. Brand new. Don't know my asshole from my elbow. 
My knowledge and understanding of the law has improved over time. You could go back and watch my old videos from when I was squeaking behind the ears attorney to the slightly less squeaking behind the ears attorney I am now. You can see the changes in my understanding. You can see the changes in my understanding of not just the theoretical of the law, but the actual practical hands-on application of what like squeaking squeaking behind the ears attorney would be like with these uh, simple batteries be like, oh my god they totally broke the law I'm going to report you to the to the prosecutor you're going to totally be you're screwed mister and now I'm like, oh well they're probably not going to do anything because they're not <laughs> I mean, they're probably not now Anyway, my, my point is, my point is that if you view everything that I've said and done consistently, like where I've praised James when he's done well, and where I've poo-pooed James when he's done poorly, and if you look at the reasoning I have given for each, you could come up with the assumption that I'm just trying to spread discord, or you could come up with the assumption that I actually mean what I say. And people ask me, I don't know why, but people ask me, like, which is it? And I'm always like, well, you get to you get to pick your narrative. I mean, and the reason why I do that, the reason why I don't try to hold people's hands to come to the conclusions is because, first of all, that's lazy. And, and if it's e that easy for you to get to the conclusion, it'll be that easy for you to walk away from it. And the, the second reason is that I, I, I really do think that people in this community need to start judging people by what they do and not what they say. Because this community is ripe for con men. Which really, really tells you how bad the, uh, the humble merchant is, that cop cam guy. I mean, he's so bad at it, he can't even, he can't even scam this community. That's how bad he is. He's just a terrible salesman. But this, this community, I mean, you tell them what they want to hear and, and they'll buy into it. You tell them what they want to hear. That's like, that's like confidence game 101. Not that I've ever been a con man, but I've seen him on TV and I've been a salesman. And that's one of the things they tell you is you tell the customer what they want to hear. Is this, is this a good car? This is a great car. Is it reliable? It is completely dependable. It's backed by a, a huge warranty that you'll never ever have to use because it's completely reliable and it'll never break down on you. You tell the people what they want to hear. And I don't tell you guys what you want to hear. So does that make me a salesman? Does that make me a con man? Everybody... Everybody thinks that, like, my motivation is money. How am I getting paid for this? Oh, it's Soros dollars. Then am I a brand new attorney? Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Why would Soros use some unknown brand new attorney with some sales experience and some business management experience to run a terrible, cancerous YouTube channel where he invites all the trolls and loves them dearly think about it like the the reasoning the logic that is going on in this community is just terrible it's just terrible you got casey camera boy out in california disrupting dairies because oh my god that's a hotbed of and and yeah he's just in the i'm gonna get trespass mode he's not in the i'm waiting to see if they call the police mode I mean, there's just so much stupid going on. Just so much, so much stupid. And so, because I judge people by their actions, I can only assume that people like James aren't interested in getting these laws changed because people like James are in the position to change the laws and not doing so. Oh, you found a big stick. 
And other people aren't interested in it because they're going around doing stupid things like trespassing. They're not, they're not getting the public on their side. So am I against the audience community when I'm calling these people out who are driving the public away from the community? I mean, like that attack on Monkey. No, obviously I don't support violence, even on Monkey. But those were those were people in his community, you know. And I've I've seen people in the auditing community call those people cop suckers because they have their opinions, and their opinions are apparently wrong. When the public doesn't support the auditors, when the public supports the police, they're cop suckers. Now, how are you going to get people onto the auditor side with that kind of logic? It's retarded. But anyway, I guess I'm just a... I guess I'm just a Soros-funded troll who is just trying to disrupt the auditing community and has absolutely no interest in seeing First Amendment rights protected or expanded. I mean, despite the fact that I don't censor anybody on my channel, I'm obviously against the First Amendment. So anyway... I'm going to go buy a car. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.